Previously on So You Think You Know The Witcher. I'm most, to be honest, I'm I'm really drawn to B. But okay. I don't really have a reason for it other than he sounds kind of Nilfgaardian. So does C. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with B and try and trust my gut instinct. And B's your final answer. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna lock in B. Declan Leuvarden. And I'm sorry to say that is not the right answer. No. It is actually Stefan Skellen. Oh, it is. Who was responsible? It is Stefan. Yes. Well, thank you for considering me. I guess I don't know The Witcher, and I have to go and brush up on my knowledge by finally reading the books and playing more Gwent. So. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome back to So You Think You Know The Witcher. Sadly, Lucy will not be joining us as we take our first steps through Velen. However, Borgia, The Fox Bride, and Jinzi are still with us. Let's take you straight into the questions. A quick disclaimer before we get into the show today. The first question we asked was hotly contested. I'll explain more when you've seen the answers revealed. Okay, White Orchard is a distant memory. We have arrived in Velen. Straight in for the 2000 Oran question. Princess Adder in the Witcher books is most known for what color hair? Is it A, black, B, red, C, white, or D, brown? It's red. Okay. Staring at me like this. <laughs> oh, if I remember, depend depends which form. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. Talk me through that. Talk me are through. Are we talking that. about her human form before she becomes the striga, or are we talking about uh, her actually being the striga? Um, it would be her human form. It would be a human form we're talking okay. about, not while she is a striga. Um, yeah, Ada human form let me let me ponder that for a second things are starting to come into my head right now and out okay. of the white out of the white comes in and i'm thinking of her hair changes mm. but is this like a one-time thing it's she's known for it but now and you're gonna lock red in i'm gonna lock red in you're sure about this I'm sure. Oh my God. You're making me doubt myself now though, because this is not something I would remember otherwise, but I'm pretty sure it's red. So 100% you, now you have your lifelines. You don't want to lock this in. You don't want to change this. No, I'm going to lock it in anyway. You're going to lock it in. I die, I die. Out of the white is something that is now coming up because I'm almost positive it changes. That's the, that's, so out of the white sticking in your head. Out of the white is sticking in my head and she's most known for it. This, is a tr this might be a little tricky. Mm -mm. I mean, but you do I'm still have your lifelines available. 50-50, of course, there's a risk you end up with red and white. It is randomly generated, I promise. Well, um, is it randomly generated the way he wants to be? A millionaire was randomly generated? Because that always <laughs> randomly generated the two most popular ones. If my knowledge doesn't... Uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, I would say white. Let's, let's, let's go with white. Okay, we're gonna lock in white for you. We are going Princess Ada the White. So, you, so you've, you're, you're veering towards Ada the White, right? Yeah, I'm just deciding whether or not to use the mulligan because she's not known, she's not known for her red hair. Cause it's not right. like, it's not known for it and it's just Ada the White. And I'm thinking, but do I be safe here? I like the motto. It's who dares wins. So let's just go C out of the whites. Final. Final answer. We're going to lock yeah. C in. No lifelines are being used. We have locked in C white. And thankfully for you, my friend, out of the white is correct. Okay. You progress we through. Well done. I yeah, love yeah. the process of elimination. They didn't get tricked by the Gwent card. And that inf you have the oh, information yes. there. Be believe the whole time. Man, y'all tricky. And you are, in fact, correct, good sir. You, it was, in fact, white. Well one done. Congratulations. Stories. One of my favorite yeah. stories from the books. And uh, I remember that in order to get rid of the curse, he would have to sit with her, you know, spend the night with her in that crypt, which was freaking creepy when I read it. But it was it was written in such a way that I can imagine that. And it was so good. And wow. then we actually, for Witcher 1, we had, uh, we had this trigger there. And we had this really cool trailer for for that one, that was before I joined the company. But yeah, amazing stuff, amazing. 
Cool question. It is. Good, good, good. I'm still so stuck on red. Okay, fine. Mulligan it. This one's okay. really... So you're going to equip your mulligan here. We're going to yes. wear... The quen is on. If this the happens quen is to on. be wrong, if this happens to be wrong, then your quen will absorb it. You will get another answer. If it's right, you will still, of course, lose the quen. I guess we're going to see. So you're sticking with red. Adder, yeah, let's see if it was red, red or not. Okay. We're going to lock red in. It is not red. Okay, it then it's brown. Red. Then it it's is brown. not red. Okay. I know it's not white and I know it's not black, so it has to be brown. Then. So, Adder the, Adder the brown. We're going with Adder the brown here. Okay, final answer. Last chance. I We're hate it Adder here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm locking Adder the brown. So, as you can see, there was a little controversy around this question. The reason for that is, after some deep diving, we discovered there are two potential answers, both red and white. The reason for this, in the English translation, at no point does it ever actually mention that her hair changes to white, whereas in the Polish and various other versions, it does state this. We felt this was unfair to Jinzi as a result, so she will continue to play and we will return her mulligan as her first guess was one of the two correct answers. On to the 4000 Oran question now. What book features the first appearance of a witcher from the cat school? Is it A, Sword of Destiny? B, Lady of the Lake? C, Baptism of Fire? Or D, Season of Storms? All right, I like this one. And uh, another thing here, you will know about this because I actually wrote that little audio play that involved a cat school witcher that we had this narrator. And um, we'll- I remember him, that guy. We'll call him Lion for short, or if you want to do that, maybe we'll just say Heart at the end. And the cat school, I love the cat school. It's my favorite to explore, the cat of Aiello. Now you got me. Ooh. Um. I'm torn between sword and baptism. Hmm. Okay. So from from the cat school, right? Right. Yes. The the first appearance of a witcher from the cat school. It can't be too late into it. For, so I'm um, I'm not season of storms. I would say no. Dum dum dum. I know you do still have your expert available. Of course, mm -hmm. you can also equip a mulligan if you'd like to and protect yourself. Yeah, let's do it. I like the I like the idea. Okay, so we are shielding you, good sir. We are shielding you. So your mulligan, your quen is now equipped. Sword so of what are you thinking? You're going sword with Sword of Destiny. Of Destiny. So uh, what was the plot of Sword of Destiny, roughly? Do you think I remember? I, I no, I, me either. I like chronologic guys. I read them. I read them twice, and I mm -hmm. don't like. I read them first as a kid, and I read them when I was a little bit older. But I don't 100 percent like remember like sort of destiny is the one that talks about the beginning of the whole thing because uh the first book uh which is last wish i always need to translate them in, in, in hand. Mm -hmm. yeah that makes yeah um, that was yeah and i appreciate yeah. your effort with that trust me <laughs> um and, and and that one is just short stories so uh sort of destiny starts going into the the whole um you know siri putting siri in the picture and the story is growing there but for sure, there is some, like, since I think that's where Kara Morin is also mentioned for the first time, if I remember correctly, that is where kind of you get some background. So I think the background here would talk about the Cat Witchers, so it would make it would make sense to kind of have it there. Okay, we have am locked I right in a Let me know. Sword of Destiny. You have your mulligan equipped, and it's a good job because it is not Sword of Destiny. That Quen has just absorbed that mm. blow for you. So, A is out. With Season of Storms, it was the Cat of Lello. It was the Cat of Lello. Are you sure it was Season of Storms? Uh, he wasn't Hermes. in Season of Storms, yes. Okay. He was very I'm going to lock that one in. I'm going to lock that one in. We're going to say <laughs> that D, Season of Storms, is of course the correct answer. It was, of course, yes. Congratulations. That one nice and smooth. I think his name was Brahen. Brahen the Cat was, of Lello. Yeah, Brahen, yeah. I hope that's oh. not your next question. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's not. When you said Stefan before, I was like, well, I feel like I'm redundant here. That is mm. going to be Season of Storms. Final answer. I, 
Final answer, D, Season of Storms. Yep. I so briefly thought you were going to say C there. You said D, oh, Season okay. of Storms, and you are correct, my yeah. friend. I had a feeling you would know that one. That which is short yeah. story you wrote, I love that. I still re-listen to that, actually. Had a really, really good time narrating that. It was really cool. Uh, many, many uh, Witcher content creators involved in that uh, project. It was really fun. Cat school, baby. There we go. So, A is out. You still have three potential options. It could be B, Lady of the Lake, C, Baptism of Fire, or D, Season of Storms. Now, you do also still have the ability to ask our resident expert, or you can, of course, venture another guess. I think we're gonna go with a guess. Um, okay. I will go for Baptism of Fire and see if I get baptized by fire. <laughs> and you're 100% sure we're going to lock Baptism of Fire in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We are locking in C, Baptism of Fire. And unfortunately, you have not paid your offering because it is not Baptism of Fire. It's Season of Storms. Seasons of Storms, it is wow. Season of Storms, that's yes. The one I didn't, that's the one I excluded as the first one because... It was, uh, it was Brian that they talk about. Yeah. It was uh, Brian that they talk about. In Season of Storms, it was not oh. Baptism of Fire. My friend, Velen is your resting place. Velen is my resting place. And I remember when I ventured into Velen, Bloody Baron, that also stuck with me forever. So <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everybody who loves the Witcher universe, whoever does any content about it reads about it and just loves it because I love the books, I love the games, I love everything which are related and I think this is something that we all have in common. Um, and thank you to you guys uh, for organizing this because I think it's a, it's a really, really cool trivia show and I can't wait to watch the first episode and the ne next episodes. Um, yeah, I think I can also learn something from them. But yeah, if you want to find me, you can find me on Twitter at Pavobuja or Burza46 on uh, Twitch. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all. It was awesome. On to the 8,000 Oren question. Although never revealed in the book series, Sapkowski approved this fan-written story in 2017, revealing that Cohen belongs to which witcher school? Is it A, School of the Wolf, B, School of the Griffin, C, School of the Cat, or D, School of the Viper? I would assume that's the Griffin then, although I've not read that fan written story, I'll be honest. Okay. Uh, what makes you think that? Why are you drawn to Griffin? Um, there, there's various reasons for why I always pegged him as a School of the Griffin character. Also, I believe that they said he came from, uh, oh god, they mentioned, was it the South or the North? Far away. They definitely, he is not a wolf school uh, witcher, I know that. The cat was not well liked in general, so they wouldn't have let a cat witcher in there and the viper is a uh, school created for the games so i don't think it would be that one either <laughs> and i don't think i would have known this except i was looking up i was researching something about because i remember it was something to deal with comparing the show to the book and it being the books outside of that season of storms they were all wolf school witchers but then i was remembering i don't think they ever said where cohen was from but he wasn't a wolf school so he's not a wolf school he's not a cat school i knew he wasn't a cat school i also knew that he could not be a cat school now because season of storms was the first and the only time a cat school witcher came in and that was the last book as opposed to cohen first showing up in blood of elves I always get that with baptism mixed up so it's griffin or it's witcher i was 90 percent sure it was griffin it is not witcher i thought i even remember reading somewhere that he was it so i'm talking very confidently and this may be famous last words, but I believe it is the school from the north, the Griffin School. And I you will seem go ahead. very confident. Yeah, she, like I said, it's very famous last words. And if I watch this later when it comes out, I'll be like, oh, look at that idiot. He's so confident he's about to get knifed right in the back. OK, so by process of elimination, <laughs> we're going to lock in B, School of the Griffin. Is that right? Yeah. 
and by process of elimination, you are completely correct. It is, of course, B. Griffin. I would have... Uh, that's not how I knew that. I only know that because Cohen is now a Gwent card in the Griffin ex from the Way of the Witcher expansion, and they brought in a load of new Witcher characters, one, of course, being Cohen. It's the only way that I would have known that. You got there entirely on knowledge, which is genuinely more impressive. So congratulations. <laughs> Nicely done. We're going to lock in B. School of the Griffin for your final answer, and I can tell you you are correct. You've got nothing to worry about. He is, of course, from the school of the Griffin. Uh, Sapkowski approved this fan written story. Uh, I would have known that from the Gwent card, of course, Cohen introduced into Gwent from the Way of the Witcher expansion and is a Northern Realms oh, right. gold card. Cohen. That would oh, there you go. See, I didn't even go that route, but you're right. That does make more sense. Oh. We're at the 16,000 Oren question right now. You have only got two more questions before you make it through Velen. No pressure. Still two lifelines intact as well, of course, if you want to Igni and 50-50 away or equip that Quen and give yourself a cheeky mulligan. It <laughs> is available to you, so do not worry. I will take you to the 16,000 Oren question. After creating witches and believed to be a failed experiment, what two mages were expelled from Risberg? Is it A, Fringilla and Sabrina? B, Cosimo and Alza? C, Fringilla and Alza? Or D, Sabrina and Cosimo? Ooh, all right. We're back to Season of Storms. We are. And if I have my timeline correct, it was Cosimo who trained Alza, who technically was who started it was Alzer, but it was help from Cosimo, who was his mentor, if you want to call him that. And then it was also helped with Itaran, who I believe was Alzer's mentor. I'm positive of the first two. I'm, all, I'm almost positive of Itaran, if that was kind of like a triumvirate there, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I'm sorry, some of these would be so funny, though. Can you imagine? It's, it's Cosimo and Alzer. Manos. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yes, Cosimo, Malaspina, and Alza. So you're going with B. We're not going yeah. to go into the potential fan fiction of uh, oh, Sabrina and Cosimo and their, their big day out, no? <laughs> Fragila and Sabrina joining hands at last. No one's yelling at each other and they're, they're thinking about witchers. They only have witchers on their minds. But I am positive beyond positive that it is definitely Cosimo and Alzer. B, bravo, final. No debates here whatsoever for you. you. You're enjoying these ones more than the Damn. first five. You're like, you know Damn. what, you're in here. <laughs> Velen is treating you well, my friend. You have locked in B, Cosimo and Alza. And of course, you are correct. It is Cosimo and Alza who were expelled from Risberg, who are responsible for creating the witches. Uh, okay, I'm gonna lock in B. You are of course correct. It is Cosimo and Alza. Those mischievous mages, where would we be if they hadn't done all of this? Yeah, Honestly. I'm so glad they did lots of murder and things. Oh. <laughs> it was a very treacherous path initially and became much more comfortable so far, but will this one stump you? For 32,000 Orans, the Cat School Witches were given the location of Stigger Castle in Gwent, which is more famously known for housing who? Vilgeforce. Stregobor, Francesca, or Yennefer? Stiga Castle. You know, mm. when, when I play Gwent, see, I'm not, I'm not a caster like you. I'm not big and all that. I have to find reasons. What's my niche of playing Gwent when it's streaming? And one thing I like to do, besides obviously can be, is Lordex. And the <laughs> one that I've held on to is Stiga Castle. And I will not go into explaining Stiga Castle because it is spoilers beyond spoilers, a long way down on the end. But it was a major location, if you will, towards the end of the Lady of the Lake, of the last one. Uh, I'm going to say that it is a Vilgefortz. And that's your final answer. You're pretty confident about that one. I know that's, your love for the cat school. Yeah, that's going to be my final answer. Yeah, Vilgefortz. Vilgefors! So, you have locked in a Vilgefors. It is, of course, Vilgefors. And Felon is now also a distant memory. We are going to head in oh, to the shores of Skellige. There are question marks everywhere. Distractions entirely are going to engulf you. I think you might just be fine, but congratulations. 
Oh. All the question marks are in the sea, so I'm in a lot of trouble. That That is going to be problematic. It, just <laughs> lots of swimming, water comp. Oh, it's a nightmare. It is a Vilgefors is famously known for his time at Stinker Castle, among many other things, admittedly. Uh, congratulations, my friend. Velen proved easy work for you. You have powered through Velen. Skellige awaits you. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're rolling now. And that was Velen. Sadly, Paul Bourgeois will not be joining us as we make our first steps into Skellige next time. The Fox Bride and Jinzi will be battling it out to see if they really do know the Witcher. Please make sure you do like the video and subscribe so you don't miss that crucial episode. And if you're playing along at home, let us know in the comments down below how you're doing. How many of those signs have you used to protect yourself getting through Velen? I can't wait to read them. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Now that won't cause a bit of a bit of uh, a bit of confusion because in the English translation, her hair is never white. Oh, interesting. It's red always. Really? We only in the English translation, she's only the answer is white. We got out of the white, but yeah, in the originals and in the oh. Czech versions, she's got. They talk about her having white hair. They still call her out of the white, but never yeah. describe her hair as anything but red. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So that, I don't know why they translate. That's like that's like their own adaptation. <laughs> yeah. I don't.